In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Tana's new mobile app to capture all of your ideas so you never miss another one again. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to level up your life and work using Tana. So have you ever been out and about on a walk in the car doing something and thought, mm, I've got this great idea. I need to get it into Tana. Well, now you can, because today Tana announced their brand new mobile app called Tana Capture. And let me tell you, it is awesome. Now look, for me, mobile was neither here nor there. I could have had it or not had it. It's not a deal breaker for me. 90% of the work that I do is in front of a screen or a computer. But now that I have it in my life, I could absolutely not imagine using Tana without it. So let me tell you, the Tana team have done an amazing job on this app. It is so simple, yet so blazingly fast. It's the fastest way that I've ever had of being able to capture my ideas. So in this video, I'm going to show you, firstly, how to download and set up the app. It's super easy. Second, how to find everything that you capture um, back in Tana and organize that and get it to where it needs to go. And thirdly, I wanna show you three workflows that I've been using as a desk bound user um, that I found super helpful to my whole workflow. So let's get into it. So getting set up is super easy. All you have to do is go to the Apple App Store, go to the search, type in Tana Capture, and you will find the app and click download. Once it's downloaded, all you need to do is sign in with your Tana login and you are ready to get started either capturing written notes, audio notes, media and images from your phone. You can live capture a photo or you can even scan text and have that text come right in to Tana. Now, obviously, anytime you need to capture something, you can open up the app and then capture whatever thought or idea that you had in whatever format that you want. I found that the easiest way to capture is actually installing one of the Tana home screen widgets. So I have two on my home screen, one for audio notes and one for written notes. And I use these multiple times every day. And it's honestly the fastest way to get things into Tana. Once you have captured something, then it's all going to be in your Tana workspace in a place called the inbox. And um, it's really easy to find the inbox. It actually sits right at the top of your workspace. So if you are in the sidebar, all you have to do is come up here and click on that and then you will find it here in inbox. Click on that and you will see that there's a whole lot of things. Um, you know, when, when you start to capture things, they will come in here. Each one will be a separate node. But if you're anything like me, when an inbox is out of sight and out of mind, I tend to forget about it. So if you want to make the inbox more accessible, I've got a couple of different ideas for you. So um, you can, uh, from anywhere in your Tana workspace, bring up the Command K menu and go straight to your inbox. So all you have to do is press Command K, type in inbox, and then go to open capture inbox. And then it just opens up at the side here and you can then start to process your inbox from there. Now, the second thing that you could do is add it to your daily page super tag so that um, you can quickly access it from there. Okay, so the easiest way to reference your inbox on your daily page is to find your inbox. Okay, so you wanna come all the way up to the top level, go to inbox, and then just right click on the node and press get link to node. Once that's copied, come into your daily page tag, um, whatever you call it, it might be day, I call mine DNP, and then just paste it in. And that means anytime you're on a daily page, you're gonna see your inbox come up and you can open it up and you can process everything that's in there. Now, the third way to make it really easy to get to the inbox is actually to add a button to your daily page. So you can see here, this is my daily page node and there's a button that says open inbox. If I click on that, it goes straight to my inbox and I can process whatever is in there. So the way to set this up is actually using Tana's new commands and it's so easy and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So you can see the command that I'm using is this one here. And the way to know that it's a command is that the node looks different 
Um, and this is this is kind of what a command node looks like. So to set this up yourself, and if I open this up, all you can see is there's just one command in there, and it's run a command line, and the configuration is open capture inbox. So all we are doing is the same as using it from the command line. So if we were to type in open capture inbox, then um, that would take us to the inbox, okay? And all we're doing is we're putting that command into a button. That's it. So if you wanna set this up yourself, all you need to do is write the name of your button. So let's call this open inbox and we're just gonna say capture. Then uh, go to command K and we wanna turn this into a command node. All right, once we do that, you can see here, we've got type at to insert a command. So again, type at go command, oops, and you wanna run a command line command. Okay, that's it. Open the configuration. It's gonna ask you what command that you wanna run and you're gonna type in open capture inbox. It has to look exactly the same as it looks like in the commands line. And then you've got your button. All right, so all you then have to do is uh, add that to your daily page tag. So when you come in to configure your daily page, just scroll all the way down and go to advanced. And then here you've got commands. And so you can see I've already got open inbox. If I wanted to add my second open inbox, just go at, type the name of the command and then add it. And you can see the button gets added here. Now I wanna show you three different workflows that I'm using every single day with the mobile app as a Deskbound user to make getting stuff into Tana even easier. So let's dive in. There's a couple of different things that I have collected into my inbox this morning, a couple of different images. Um, I've got a tweet that I saved and then also some audio that um, I have recorded. So this first workflow is inspired by another Tanner ambassador, Renee Dufour. She has the most amazing moments collection um, where she can just scroll through and see all the different moments that she wants to remember. I have been so inspired by this, but every time I try to implement it, I just find friction. You know, I've got to transfer photos from my phone to my computer, upload them to Tana, and it never just felt easy. But now with Tana Capture, every day I've been making a conscious choice to get into my phone, see what things have happened throughout the day and upload them straight into my Tana inbox. And then I can easily just tag them as a moment and get them into my moments collection. So you can see here, I've got a photo. Uh, this is, uh, I was out with a couple of my friends and I, this is my new place that I moved into. And so all I do is once an image comes in, I just rename it. Um, so I might say dinner with besties. And then all I do is add the tag moment and I can change the date. Um, usually it comes in as the day um, cause I try and do this every day. I can just remind myself why I want to remember it. Um, I can talk about how it made me feel. Once they're tagged, they just come into my moments to remember. And you can see that they just come up here and I get a beautiful way to scroll through all the moments in my life. Now, I don't usually keep these in my inbox. I like to move them. And so all I do is I just go move to today. Um, and you can see that just shows up as a reference and the same here, move to today and it shows up as a reference and then I just delete them out of there, okay? Now the second workflow that I've been using Tana Capture for is actually to save tweets. Now I talk to a lot of people who use the inbuilt bookmarks feature on, on Twitter, but find that they never actually go and revisit those bookmarks. And that's just simply because it's not part or integrated with the system that you use to review all the other things in your life, like notes and tasks and, and all of that. So instead of using the inbuilt bookmark feature, all I do is if I'm scrolling on my phone and I find a tweet that I wanna save, I just hit share and then choose the Tana Capture app and it literally um, uploads straight into the inbox like almost instantaneously. Once it's in here and you can see this is one that I've already captured um, and you can see all it does is just have the URL. So you can always click on that to see what did I end up saving? Um, this is just a tweet of mine. All of these I then want to go and save into my Spark inbox. And that means that 
when I'm going through and writing and thinking and uh, kind of doing all of that in my uh, in my notes, I know this is going to show up. So there's two things that I want to do here. One, I want to add a tag called Spark Note, and then I want to make sure that a field within that super tag is set to tweet. Now I could easily just add the Spark Note and then change the source note to tweet or to tweets. Um, but you know, that's kind of tedious. So we're not actually going to do that. So what instead I did is set up a new command that actually does both of those things at the same time. So now all I have to do is go command K and hit Twitter bookmark and I get the spark note. I, it changes to tweet and then uh, everything is there ready to go. And again, all I need to do is move that to the today node and then I can delete it from the inbox. Now it's pretty easy to set up a command like this. All you have to do is add a node, let's call it Twitter bookmarks, and then go command K and go turn it into a command node just by clicking convert to command node. Once you're there, all you wanna do is go at and then we want to set a tag. So add tags, come into configuration and just add the tag that you want. So mine is a spark note. Then the second command that you want to add is a field. So you want to set a field value and we're looking to set, if we come into spark note, we'll see it source type. Now you can easily, the easiest way to do this is to find your field and then go get link to node and then paste it in. <laughs> and then we're going to call this tweet. And that is now your command done. So if you are one of those people who never checks their Twitter bookmark folder, then that may be a really useful way to actually get your tweets inside of Tana so you really do review them. This last workflow that I wanna show you is one that I use 90% of the time. If I'm at my desk, if I'm out on a walk, wherever I am, I can capture audio. And then we're gonna use the magic of AI to transcribe it and then actually summarize all of the thoughts. And so what this has meant is that I actually literally never listen back to any of the audio that I capture. I actually just let AI transcribe it for me and then summarize it. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Now, anytime that you put an audio note into Tana, it is going to give you a transcribe button and you can literally transcribe it. What I wanna do is combine that with the power of AI. Um, so instead what I do is I add a little um, tag called audio note. And then what that does is it gives me a button called transcribe and summarize. And so this combines a couple of different commands. One, it um, transcribes the audio. And the second thing that it does is it sends off a prompt to OpenAI that asks it to summarize what I've said and list out any of the tasks. So let's see what happens when I do this. I'll hit transcribe and summarize. And then it will get to work. Um, the transcription is happening. And then it will give me a summary. Okay. Now, this was just a note that I wanted to test just for this video. Um, so I just talked to it about the video and some of the things that I wanted to say. The transcription is great. Um, but actually what I love so much is this down here. So what I did is create a prompt that asked OpenAI to summarize everything that I said. And so you can see here, the summary is I'm creating a YouTube video about Tana's new mobile app. The video needs to show viewers how to access their inbox, make it more accessible. So how to process their inbox quickly using three different workflows. The video needs to be finished before the mobile app launches tonight. And that is based off everything that I said. I absolutely love this. And even better than that, it actually extracts all the different actions. And so you can see here, film a YouTube video about Tana's new mobile app, show viewers how to access their inbox, demonstrate three different workflows, finish the video before the mobile app launches tonight. And so I can literally just scan through a list of actions and then tag any of those as task. And they then get to wherever they need to go in my task inbox and I can process any of that. 
And this is how I use Tana Capture 90% of the time. I will be walking in the morning and just talking into it. And then I know that when I get back to my desk, I can hit transcribe and summarize and it's done. Sometimes I even just sit at my desk and just talk it out into Tana Capture, knowing that I can just let OpenAI transcribe it, summarize it, and then give me any tasks that I've talked about. This was a real game changer for me. So even though this looks really complex, under the hood, this is actually a really simple command to set up. So all you have to do is create a command node. I called mine transcribe and summarize. Then you want to add a command called transcribe audio. And all you have to do is add a target node, which just means where do you want the transcript to go? So the way I have mine set up is that I always add an audio note super tag, and that gives me two fields. One is transcript and the other is summary. And so then I can say to the command, I always want you to transcribe the audio and put it into the transcript field. That's all this is doing here. Then the next command that you're gonna to wanna to add is the ask AI command. And this is actually really simple to set up as well. Now, the most important thing here is the actual prompt. And I use a little bit of trial and error to get the prompt the way that I wanted it to work. So feel free to use this prompt. I will have it in the description below that you can just copy and paste. But basically I tell it what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you some unstructured thoughts. You're gonna clean them up and summarize them into key points. I tell it how I want it to write the summary. And this came from trial and error because it kept telling me the speaker is talking about this. Um, and I wanted it to, to summarize as if I was writing the summary. Um, then I ask it to pull out any action items that I talk about and I tell it exactly how I want it to structure those action items. So I like it to always start with uh, one of these uh, different actions. And that's about as easy as this prompt gets. And I find this the most useful way to capture things when I'm out and about, when I'm at my desk, and then not even have to listen to myself back, um, but just have the AI summarize and give me all the tasks that I talked about. So I hope you liked this video on how to get set up with the new mobile app, how to use it, and three different ways that a deskbound user can actually utilize the mobile app in a big way. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I create videos like this every single week. And till the next one, I hope you enjoy using your new Tana mobile app.